Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Chuck again, and we're back. Uh, just got done shooting the other video. It's still uh, Thursday, December 8th. Beautiful day. I'm not sure when I'll post this. I may, may not post it the same time as I post the other one. I might wait a little bit. But uh, while I had it, while I was set up over here, I thought I would talk a little bit about my electrical system and my charging system. Uh, when I did my van tour, I did a little bit of, I talked a little bit about that. But I figured I'd kind of take you for a walk around uh, how it's set up. Because it was pretty simple. It's not complicated at all. And it enables me to charge my phone and, uh, and the other things I need to charge while I'm out on the road. So basically, what it, what it is, is it's got a... Uh, let me turn back around here again. The van has two batteries in it. It's got what we call the starting battery, which is the one up under the hood. And then it has another one in the back, which is referred to as a coach battery. And the way I, the way mine is charged, let's walk up here to the motor. Right there, of course, is my starting battery, and it's just no different than any other battery in any other vehicle. And then over here, down here in the shadow, I don't know if you can see it, but this little round thing right there is what's called an isolator. And what that does is when the, the battery voltage gets up to 14.2 volts off the alternator, it opens up and then it charges back to the rear battery. The rear battery, and we'll walk around this side. I still have my ladder up here from the last video I shot about the roof leak. I haven't fixed that yet. My coach battery is in the back here, right underneath this panel. Now that's normally where my porta potty sits, and of course it's cold weather, so I have my port. I took my porta potty out because I don't want it to freeze and get damaged. But this van is actually set up with there's space underneath this panel for two batteries. I got one sitting this way. There's actually space in there for two of them fitting this way, and then this panel over here underneath where my heater's at, I could actually put two more batteries in there. So if I needed it, I could actually have four batteries. But I don't really need it for what I do. One, the one battery works out okay. And what I what I do is that's another bat. It's just another uh, regular automotive battery. And what I do is I put a new one in this about every three years, just for preventative maintenance purposes. Try, I'm getting a glare. And so then I so I take the old uh, put the old battery back here in the back, and I put the new one up under the hood. And what that does is not only gives me a, ba a fresh battery that's still good, but it also means if something happened to the one under the hood, I could take this one out and replace it because they're both the same kind of battery. So what I do then from there is that's wired back up to this connection right here, right there on my kitchen desk. And here I have, I have a, a setup here. It's got 12 volt. It's also got USB. I carry a, a little... Uh, 100 watt uh, uh, oh what's the word I'm looking for the uh, anyway the little deal that makes 110 volt and uh, so I can plug in I can charge my computer off of it and uh, anything else I need to charge off of it and that works out pretty good it's a pretty simple system uh, it uh, it served me well for as long as I've been doing it now and I think that uh, I, th I don't see any reason really to change it. I've thought about going fancier and I thought about solar and all this kind of stuff. But with what I do, I really don't think I need to do that. So the uh, that's kind of a, a real short one about my charging system and how how else it works. Uh, done the pan around in here before. Somebody asked me about my windows the other day. That I love these windows because as you can see, I'm standing up and I can look outside uh, when I'm standing up in here, I don't feel like I'm standing up in a tunnel. There's a little bit of glare from the sun in here. So I can say it's a bright, sunshiny day. But uh, it's a little under five minutes on my charging system and how it works. And so I think I'll go ahead and end this video here. So thank you all for watching. Let me spin back around here. Thank you all for watching. Love each other. Take care of each other. And we'll talk at you again real soon. And with that, have a wonderful day and peace out.